here are our directions for our mystery dug on Friday here, our science for this Friday. Um, the first thing that you are going to want to do is to watch Mystery Doug for this week. So I just click the link, and that should take me to Mystery Doug. And you're going to watch the mystery, what's at the bottom of the ocean? So you're going to explore the mystery, watch fully, what's at the bottom of the ocean? Okay, you can watch that, you can watch the bonus with it, you can vote, all that when you're done. After you watch Mystery Doug, you have another part of it that's going to go um, with Flipgrid. So after I completed that, I'm going to go to the assignment. And the assignment is this Mystery Doug Friday Flipgrid. Now it says, once you've completed your Flipgrid, submit this assignment by adding an audio recording or note saying, I finished my Flipgrid, and then submit. But what are you doing on your Flipgrid today? Okay, now I put you have to open the assignment and then you can click the link and it should take you to the Flipgrid page. Now, mine's not going to show. You, you sign in with Google. Mine's not going to show because I'm a teacher. But I'll show you what the assignment is. Here's our assignment for today. To explore the bottom of the ocean, scientists needed a special submarine that the water couldn't crush. Think of a place you'd like to explore. Maybe you want to go inside a volcano or visit the top of a mountain or tour the surface of the moon. What equipment would you need to get to your chosen spot. What would you need to stay safe while you're there? Draw a picture of your idea, show it here, and describe it. Okay. So your job then is to think of someplace you would like to visit and then kind of draw the equipment you would need um, to get you to your chosen spot. Okay. So not only to get there, but to survive there as well. Because what you need to get there, what you need to save, safe there. Maybe it's a vehicle. Maybe it's like a building itself. Maybe it's this whole transport. Maybe it's a bunch of different little things. But what you're going to do is you're going to draw that. Now, you can draw that um, on a piece of paper and color it to make it look nice. And you can do that. Or if you want to use like Tinkercad, you could do that. If you want to use Google Draw, you could do that as well. Or any other Jamboard, any other online drawing tool you can use. Google Canvas, if you want to do that. Any place that you want to draw. And then what you're going to do is you're going to record a response where you show us your picture and you talk about it. And I'm going to talk about that here in a second. I have another video that I'm going to tell you about how to do that. Yep, so just watch that and follow those directions. Now within Flipgrid, how can you show your picture and describe your picture? Because that's what you should be doing here in Flipgrid. After you've drawn your picture, you want to share it with us and you want to describe it to us as well. So what is this? Where is it going to help you survive on it? What does it have? What all features does it have? Now, there's two ways you can go about this. If you drew the picture like on paper and you drew and colored it and designed it and everything there, you can just hold the piece, you can hold the picture up while you record, so you press that record button, you hold the picture up, make sure we can see it good, and you can just talk. And you can just describe what you drew and kind of point out different things on your picture. Um, oh, yeah, I mean, I like, here's my picture, and this is what it is, and this is where it's going to help me survive in a volcano. And it has this, 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 and that, that all is going to help me survive in the volcano. Whatever you choose. Okay, so that's if you drew it by hand. If you designed something or drew it on the Chromebook, and you want to share that, instead of just doing this record option here, you're going to click options, and then you'll record your screen. You'll click record screen, because that what that'll do is it'll record your screen, and you can pull up on your screen your picture or your drawing that you did on the Chromebook, and then you can talk about it and share it while it's pulled up on your screen. So whichever way you choose, if you did it by hand, or if you did it on the computer, you can still share it and talk with us either way. And you should check out other people's as well um, after they do and see what other people's ideas are. All right. Good luck. Once you have recorded your Flipgrid and you submitted it on Flipgrid, to complete the assignment, and I know yours looks a little different, you'll have to click over here to submissions, and you'll need to record a comment, like an audio recording that's saying, I did my Flipgrid, or you can write, you can submit like, you can create 
a like a word document that says I submitted my Flipgrid and then that will show you that it is done. So therefore it'll be complete. Okay, I wish you well on this. I can't wait to see your creativity.